I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of questions posted by my subscriber. The question here is find the distance between the following pairs of parallel lines. So we have two sets here and we have one more set. Uh, we are dealing in vectors and also these videos are for students who haven't done vectors. So I've taken standard form of equation which is also called the scalar form of equation, right? Let's work with these two equations. The first one is, first set is x plus y plus 7 equals to 0 and x plus y minus 11 equals to 0. Clearly these two are parallel lines and we'll apply the formula which is for parallel lines formula of distance between parallel lines is absolute value of c2 minus c1 divided by square root of a square plus b square right so that's the formula which is to be applied a and b are the coefficients of x and y c1 and c2 are the constant terms right so applying it to the first set of equations we can say uh, 7 we could take any one of them as c1 and c2 uh, because absolute will give you positive value 7 minus minus 11 divided by square root of 1 square plus 1 square right so that's what you get and then you can do 7 plus 11 is 18 so we get 18 in the numerator 1 plus 1 is 2 square root 2 in the denominator it is a good practice to rationalize so we'll rationalize this and write this as times square root 2 over square root 2 so this gives you 2 so dividing 18 by 2 will give us 9 square root 2 as the answer right so that becomes the distance between the first set of lines now let's look into the second set of lines they don't uh, seem to be parallel but they are since uh, if I multiply the first equation by 2, what do I get? So if I this times this by 2, I get 4x minus 6y plus 12 equals to 0. Now you can clearly see that both normals are same, right? Here the normals are 1, 1. Here the normals are 2, minus 3. Since they are same normals, they are parallel lines, correct? Since they are parallel lines, I can apply the same formula correct so applying the same formula for parallel lines it is actually very important to write both a's and b's same so it was an important step is it okay now <clears throat> so we have done that step and we say now c1 and c2 will be these values is it okay so it is 12 minus 5 divided by square root of 4 square plus 6 square this is minus, but when you square it becomes positive, so there's no harm writing it like this. You could put negative here in brackets also. Okay, so 12 minus 5 is 7 over, so we have square root of, so this is 4 square is 16 plus 6 square is 36 square root, right? Okay, so which is 7 over square root of, we can use calculator actually. Let me now write down 6 plus 6 is 12, 2, 1, and uh, 5, 52. 52 is 13 times 4, so I could write this as uh, 7 over 2 square root 13. Anyway, it's better to use calculator. We'll multiply by square root 13 and then write the answer. So let me write down this answer as 7 divided by square root of 52. Uh, so the calculator will give me the answer as, let me write down this as, 7 square root 13, right, as I was expecting, 2 times 13 is 26. This we get after rationalization, right? So we multiplied and divided by square root of 13. It is a good practice to always rationalize. Uh, so that's how we do it, right? So let's move on to one more example, which is, Find the distance between the following pairs of parallel lines, r equals 2, that's the vector equation of the line, 1, 2 plus s, 4, 1, and r equals to 4, 5 plus t, 8, 2. You'll see this is, uh, uh, here the direction is actually 4, 1, you could write this as 4, 5 plus 
2 times t right 2 times t and then it is like 4 1 do you see that same thing uh, t is just a parameter so you could also think like this right you could think like this plus uh, let's say let's say p right 4 1 does make sense to you <laughs> so if you compare them they have the same direction and therefore they are definitely parallel lines so once they are parallel lines you can actually find the distance between parallel lines using your formula now we did parallel lines formula so for parallel lines the distance formula is c2 minus c1 over square root of a square plus b square for that we have to write them in standard form so how do we write that okay we are given the direction 4 1 so what is the normal so the normal will be just flip this right and add a negative sign so so the direction will be let's say 1 minus 4 so that becomes the normal for both of them now because they are parallel correct so now once we know that the normal is uh, uh, I mean 1 and minus 4 we can now write down the equation of the first line as as uh, uh, x minus 4y uh, equals let me write equals to k and we'll find the value of k by using the point 1 2 is that okay so the position vector 1 2 can be used 1 is the x value so we get x minus 4 times 2 equals to k so k will be 1 minus 8 which is minus 7 and therefore this equation is x minus 4y and equals to minus 7 right so bringing it here it becomes x minus 4 I mean y 4y plus 7 equals to 0 correct so that becomes the equation of this line let us also find the equation of the the other line <coughs> uh, so the normal a standard way of writing will be uh, using this just flip it so it becomes uh, uh, so we are writing 1 and minus 4 so x minus 4y uh, let's say equals to some other constant let's say uh, let's say t <coughs> so we'll use the point 4 and 5 so 4 minus 4 times 5 equals to t uh, this is uh, equals to uh, 4 minus 20 which is minus 16 is it okay so t is minus 16 so we could write this as x minus 4y equals to minus 16 or x minus 4y plus 16 equals to 0 correct so that is how we get the uh, equation standard form correct now we'll apply the formula and uh, find out the the answer right so we have now the distance uh, d equals to absolute value of 16 minus 7 correct divided by that is c2 minus c1 we are applying this formula square root of 1 square plus minus 4 square is it okay absolute value so that is 9 over <coughs> 1 plus 16 is 17 correct so that could be written as 9 square root 17 over 70 so that becomes the distance between these two lines so I hope uh, it's clear how to find distance between parallel lines in R2 where the lines are given in scalar form or in vector form feel free to make suggestions Share my videos and if you like, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.